The purpose of this short video is to show how SalesPad item sales options can be used to prompt users when they're entering orders if they have specific items where we need to get questions answered or, or uh, configurations uh, chosen as they enter the line item on the order. This, uh, these options are configured as part of uh, creating an inventory item and uh, can be set up under inventory lookup in SalesPad. The first thing I'll do is search for a customer and open up a customer card. I'll then select the type of sales document that I would like to place and then I'll add a line item. And today I'm going to enter an order for a plaque and it's a specific deluxe plaque and when I tab off of it you'll see I'm immediately prompted uh, to resolve some options that have been configured behind the scenes. So in this case I need to decide what color I would like for the plaque so we'll say walnut We'd like a glossy finish, and you'll see these options can be a combination of freeform text, they can be checkboxes, they can be drop down, predefined drop down lists, or as you'll see in just a second, they can actually even be additional items that get added to the sales document. So I'll put my message in, I'm going to put a brass plate on this, and I'm going to put a message in, congrats on a great year. I'm also going to add a setup charge to the order and so you'll see this additional charge I could have a list of additional items that could be added to the order. When I say OK you'll see it adds the plaque and I'll edit the quantity so we'll say we're going to uh, get a uh, hundred of these and um, here's my uh, specific options if I hover over this you'll see the choices that I've made the note that I want printed on the plaque and you can see it added the setup charge as an additional line item, a one-time line item on the order. When the order is complete, I'll simply release it, but before I do that I actually want to print it and show you how we can drive the choices that I've made onto a specific printed form. So in this case, this might function as a work order where it goes out to the shop uh, to get picked or it gets out, goes out to the shop to actually be uh, produced in this case. So you can see here are my hundred plaques and then here's the setup charge. I'll then release this order into workflow and in this case it'll go to the back order queue because it needs to be produced. If you'd like to learn more about how item sales options work in SalesPad you can go to our website www.salespad.net uh, and look under the support tab or you can call us at 616-245-1221 and we can explain how this function works or how it gets configured. Thank you.